hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to uh, fluid mechanics and uh, related to fluid pressure measurement in the previous video we discussed about simple mercury barometer so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, another simple setup simple uh, device or apparatus for the measurement of uh, fluid pressure which is manometer okay the simple version of it so basically manometer is a device which is used to measure the pressure of a gas so it generally comes in a u-shaped tube which is uh, partly filled with a liquid mostly mercury and it comes like this kind of an arrangement okay so here it is a u-shaped tube one end of the tube is exposed to the atmosphere it is kept open while the other end is connected to the point where the fluid pressure is to be measured here gas contained in this chamber C now if both ends of this u-shaped uh, tube are exposed to the atmosphere in that case the level of mercury in both the limbs it will be equal because both sides are at equal pressure that is atmospheric pressure this see both ends are exposed to the atmosphere both uh, the height of mercury in both the limbs it is the same that is h but here since the second limb is connected to the gas chamber where the gas pressure is to be measured the height of mercury in both the limbs it is not the same and this difference of height between the two limbs is an important parameter indicating parameter which gives us information about the pressure okay so now let us understand how this works this limb is exposed to the atmosphere so here the pressure at point D at this level PD that is equal to atmospheric pressure okay pressure at point D is equal to atmospheric pressure now we have already discussed that the pressure exerted by a liquid column alone isolated that is equal to rho g h where rho is the density of that particular liquid g is acceleration due to gravity and h is the height from the reference level so here pressure at point b because of this mercury is simply rho g h but here atmospheric pressure is also acting so it is the sum total of the atmospheric pressure and the pressure exerted by this mercury column which is at a height h so pressure at point b is atmospheric pressure plus pressure exerted by this mercury column that is p atmospheric plus rho g h where rho is the density of the mercury g is acceleration due to gravity and h is the height of the mercury above this reference level a b this line a b joining a b above that that is h so pressure at point b is the sum of the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure exerted by this mercury column at a height h in the left limb so pressure at point d is atmospheric pressure which is equal to p atmospheric pressure pressure at point b is the sum total of these two mercury column pressure and the atmospheric pressure okay now if you see a and b they are at the same level okay they are at the same level which means pressure at point b is equal to pressure at point a pb is equal to pa or pa is equal to pb because they are at the same level now 
we have already discussed pascal's law in basic concepts related to fluid pressure it says that in a closed container on a closed vessel enclosed vessel pressure exerted by a fluid is transformed equally to all points so this is an enclosed container contained vessel pressure at point a is transformed equally so it means pressure at point a is equal to pressure at point c pa is equal to pc okay which is equal to the gas pressure please understand how things are connected or linked to one another and how different laws are being used to you know design this whole thing so that we can get a measure of this gas pressure so because of pascal's law pressure at point a is equally transmitted to each and every point point c which means pa is equal to pc which is the gas pressure now pa is equal to pb which we have already proved because they are at the same level and pb is equal to p atmospheric plus pgh so it means that the gas pressure pc which is equal to pb is equal to p atmospheric plus rho gh let us again try to connect the dots first pd is at atmospheric pressure pb is atmospheric pl pressure plus pressure exerted by the mercury column p atmospheric rho gh okay then a and b they are at the same level so pb is equal to pa okay pb is equal to pa then pa and pc they are equal as per pascal's law because in an enclosed container pressure is exerted equally transmitted equally pa is equal to pc pa is equal to pb so pc is equal to pb and pb is equal to p atmospheric plus rho gh so pc is also equal to or the gas pressure is also equal to p atmospheric plus rho gh here the atmospheric pressure is constant it is subtracted to give us only rho gh which is the gauge pressure again we have already discussed about gauge pressure vacuum pressure absolute pressure measurement and that specific video related to fluid pressure measurement so i will not go into detail so here we are getting the readout in terms of rho gh which is the gauge pressure out of this rho is constant that is the density of mercury filled in this uh, u-shaped tube that is constant g is constant acceleration due to gravity so the only changing parameter which is directly related to the gas pressure is the height of the mercury column that is that, that's why i said this is the indicating parameter the indicating changing parameter which is directly related to the gas pressure so here different things are joined together to give us the gas pressure okay so here we utilized pascal's law then pressure at the same level they are equal so different ways we connected the dots to get the final result which is the gas pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus rho gh because that is the pressure exerted by the mercury column and atmospheric pressure is constant so the only thing that is related or that is uh, you know an indicating parameter of this gas pressure is the height of the mercury column which causes a change in this gauge pressure so for this i want you to please watch all the previous videos related to fluid pressure measurement which uh, i have uh, uploaded there have discussed all these things related to it and uh, about pascal's law how fluid pressure is measurement is measured with respect to different reference absolute zero vacuum atmospheric pressure vacuum pressure so please watch those videos first and then watch this video okay so here we discussed a simple setup a simple manometer setup there are different types of manometer complicated designs uh, we'll be discussing them in upcoming videos here just i wanted to give you a 
you know a basic introduction to uh, fluid pressure measurement using manometer so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much